got rid of the dread. No! Go buy homes, I'm sleeping when I'm on the move. Now it's different type of thoughts that come to me and come to you. Today is finally the day that a lot of people have been waiting on. Your boy is getting his hair cut. This is not no clickbait. This is not no scam. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm wearing a hat right now because I just woke up and my hair is beyond messed up. Not only have I not got a fade in over a month or maybe even two months because of this whole quarantine shit. Look at my side of my head, bro. Like I don't want to go outside or do anything with this. I don't want to do it. I don't even want to fucking play PS4 because I'm self-conscious of these goddamn curls on the side of my head. So because it has been so long, I think today, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly with my hair because I've already asked people a poll on Instagram kind of shit and I was getting different responses because some people are like oh yo keep the twist keep the dread blah 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 and some people are like yo cut it old school wolfy short and I don't know if they're just saying that because they want me to like post main channel videos or some shit I don't know what to do so I'm kind of like 50 50 on the fence a bit what I want to do is completely change my hairstyle up because it's been like this for a minute and uh, worst case, if I really don't like it, I'll fucking, I will just get some like dreadlock extensions for a bit. I don't care. I just need to switch it up. There needs to be some fucking change. I'm bored, bro. The barber is going to come to my crib, I think, later today. Definitely going to get the sides faded a bit. Look at this fucking shit, bro. You guys are going to see a new Wolfie today. But the first things first, in order to get my hair cut the proper way, I have to use this pick. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs and just like that, guys, my hair is now picked out. Your boy hasn't showered yet, but as you guys can see, I have blonde tips. I don't know. My hair just gets dyed naturally by the fucking sun, but I'm not walking in public or walking or moving in general like this at all. So now I'm gonna go take a shower, put some conditioner in that bitch. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Smash the like button, please. As a lot of you guys have been saying, cut your hair and I wanna change it up. If this guy can't come today, then I'm off. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep it positive, stay positive because I really... <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? All right, guys, so last night I got my hair cut. Your boy just went to the store and I picked up some curling products and some stuff. This is different. I haven't had my hair this short in a minute, but I'm kind of fucking with it, guys. Like the new reveal. As you guys can see, your boy got a nice fade on the sides and I just put bare curling product in the top. Still don't really know how to rock this hair because I haven't had it in so long, but I do fuck with it a lot. And uh, your boy brought out the natural curls. Are you crazy, bro? I think what I'm gonna do is grow a little more hair on the sides so I can have the hair coming out so I'm on my Dukes 35 shit. We'll see. I just haven't used my hair like this in a minute, so I just gotta, it's gonna take a, a minute for me to get used to it, but I do rate it. It's just a lot more clean. There's nothing falling in my face every day anymore. Not that I didn't like the dreads or the twists or anything. I just wanted to try something new. And this quarantine has me bored. Like, welcome, the new Charlie slash Wolfie. So right now it is the next day and this is day two of my new haircut on some crazy shit. Bro, I actually fuck with this so hard. I feel like as time goes on, your boy's gonna get more and more used to it. And then the fade's fire, bro. Just shorter hair in general is like so much easier to take care of. Plus I just think it looks hella clean. So right now I'm just cooking up some taco meat because your boy's about to have some lettuce wrap tacos. The keto diet is still strong. And Dave, you guys know Dave. David Parody, the OG, David and Wolfie dynamic duo is coming back together. Even though it is hella quarantine shit right now, David is coming here because he's been on his fitness grind. And we're gonna go uh, to the park or like right down the street from where I'm staying right now and I'll explain why I'm staying in this crib when I get back from the workout, I guess. But we're doing a workout. David has been on his fitness grind and all that stuff, so he's putting together like some Tabata workout, which I'll explain more at the park or wherever we go to work out, maybe a field or some shit. Social distance workout grind. Your boys gotta get deezed again, are you crazy? Especially with the new cut, we gotta keep up the grind. But David's coming, meaning I gotta fucking clean this shit up and I gotta cook the rest of this meat right now. Beautiful day in Ottawa, you already know. Like I said, no days off. You got skinny Dave over here. He's about to run me through a workout. I think he's filming the entire thing. So if you wanna see <laughs> me struggle fully, it'll be on his channel. I'm just gonna film bits and pieces. Got my shit on and the diet game is stronger than ever, baby. So let's fucking go. Done the workout. Two quick sets of some Tabata non stop curls, everything you guys just seen. How do you feel, David? Amazing. I'm feeling not deep. I feel like shit. I'm fucking out of shape, guys. I wish I could come close to you and give you a hug. It's been so long, but. <laughs> Smash the like button for more David Wolfie vids. I'm giving not only to you, but to all the Wolf fam. Aww. 
<laughs> Love you guys. Smash the like button, guys. Now I'm gonna go eat that fucking ground beef. That gang strong, nigga. Let's go. Couple hours after the David workout, and uh, I gotta admit, my body is starting to feel a little sore. But I told you guys I would explain this whole crib situation, so I'm gonna do that in a sec. First of all, this is the last time I mentioned my hair. It's just different. So it's big news for me. I posted some TikToks and shit. By the way, go follow my TikTok if you haven't already because I've actually been dumb active on that. People are rating the new hair. So I'm actually H about that. Your boy. It's been a minute since I've had my hair this short. So it's, it's good to get some positive feedback on that. But more importantly, I'm going to see if Sylvia likes it. Out of 10, what she gives it. And then I'm going to call my mom. Uh, Dad, I don't even think they've seen it. Maybe they've seen the TikToks. But other than that, not many of my friends have seen it in person. So Sylvia, what are we rating my hair? The new cut. No. I can't believe you're the dress. No! No, no, you have to like it. I'm kidding. I'm Please. Kidding. I love it. I love it. You know I love it. Natural curls. Look at them natural curls, babe. Sylvia was one of the first people to actually tell me. She's like, yeah, I like it. I, and then... I I've been telling you to do your hair like that. I like the dreads too, but this one is just so clean. You look so... I'm on, the, I'm on a new level. I'm more mature, curls. Wolfie, now. So I have the new hair. Sylvia is approving of it. Come here. I'm gonna call my mom and my dad, see if they approve. I love it. I don't know if they approve. I don't even think, has my mom even told me, texted me anything mm -hmm. about it? Does my mom give a fuck about me? The fuck? She hasn't even texted me. I thought more people were gonna be like, blah, blah, oh my God, you cut your hair. I have no reaction. Okay, so uh, the situation, yeah, let me make this as short and sweet as possible. I was gonna make like a full separate video on this and then I was like, could I'll just bang it out now. Obviously, if you guys have been watching my TikToks or whatever, my stories and all that stuff, you've been seeing we've been in this random house. Now the random house, the only reason we are in this is because as of right now, because of this whole pandemic stuff, obviously, we're not really supposed to be, or I don't even think we're allowed traveling technically. Only essential workers um, are allowed traveling back and forth. I don't know if YouTube or music is technically defined as an essential job or whatever, even though it is essential that I give you guys this content, baby. So I, I don't know why they would ever say that, but I don't know if we can travel back to LA, which is annoying because we have so much stuff that we uh, have to like handle and like so much that we're paying for out in LA that it's kind of going to waste right now. And the crib that uh, me and Sylvia were living in in Ottawa, the whole plan was to come back. I just sold one of the houses that I had and the house that I sold was the one we were living in. Obviously we never thought that any of this like self isolation and any of this Corona stuff would be of issue because it really wasn't even a thing when I thought of selling the crib. So we sold it and it just so happened that the closing date was literally exactly when we came back. We we're just gonna pack up like our essential stuff and then get movers to come in and then put mad stuff in storage. And then we were gonna go straight back to LA and then just pretty much continue to live our lives out in LA for a bit until our new crib that we have uh, being built right now is like ready. But it just so happens that literally this is like the worst timing ever. All this stuff went down when we came back. So not only did we have to get out of the old crib because we already technically sold it on paper and I didn't feel like going through a headache, but the new crib is not ready when they said it was gonna be ready because construction workers stopped because some companies are working, other ones aren't, which is kind of annoying because me and Sylvia are homeless for like a day or two days until I found this like short term rental spot that just was literally perfect. Like it has just enough room for me and Sylvia and we can film videos here pretty easy because it's, it's really nice. So luckily we were able to find a spot, but like it's just been a stressful Good time. I'm trying to get back on track and I'm trying to do main channel videos at least once a week again. I've been saying this, but I have a bunch filmed. I want to drop those ASAP so I'll have time to edit those. And I have supplies for like three or four more already. So I want to film those here. So that, if you watch the main channel videos, like in a couple of days when they come out, some of them might be pre-filmed, but some of them uh, might be filmed in this crib. So this is not technically our crib, but we kind of have to be here for now because we can't go back to LA and my old place was, oh, for some people, cause I know there's going to be some people that comment. Why didn't you just like ask the new people who are moving into your old house if they could prolong their lease or whatever before moving into your house. And this is a little bit confusing, but we asked the people that moved into my old house now because there's a lot of rules, but technically people like landlords can't evict people. This forgiveness rule where landlords kind of have to be understanding that like through this whole process and shit, it's hard for people to A, pay rent and B, like find a new spot like so sudden. We asked the people, I was like, yo, just I'll pay you whatever your rent would have been or whatever, anything. I'll pay you some money so that we can stay in our crib because we have everything set up and we film videos here and everything needs to be how it is so that we can get our videos done. And they kind of, they weren't nice about it. They were like, yeah, we want X amount of money. I'm not gonna go into logistics of it, but they, they want X amount of money, take it or leave it. Like there was no negotiating at all. They were just kind of being like sickos about it. So I was like, okay, hey, y'all, I'll get out of the crib, whatever. Thank God we found this spot. Thank God I'm so nice at friggin' Warzone. I'll dummy anybody watching this video. Mom actually came over the next morning. Prince, come on, let's go. She just rang the doorbell. Pull up, come here, come here. 
Let's see your reaction of the hair. This is a true live reaction for the first time. Mr. Granny, I know. Okay, look up on my hair. Wow. Whoa. That was really think? nice. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Sylvia so likes it like my mom. Airplane at the back. What? It like it kind of like it's like a ramp at the back. Why? <laughs> I didn't do the curls at the back. The front is good, but the front's the only thing that matters for the people. That's what they're watching. No, but when you turn around, I'm not gonna show like the back. Though no, the back doesn't matter. It's like you got one of those things, like a. Uh, you know, on the back of a car that's really cheesy. Anyways, yep, she likes it, it's fine. All right, on that note, my mom just left and I think I'm gonna have to go to the gym. Shout out H2O. Because I have to film a video today and I don't have a scanner here because we actually packed up the scanner. So I need it for like a hack that I'm doing. So I'm gonna end the vlog off there and I'm gonna start filming the next video right away. I love you guys. Thank you for coming back for another video. Enjoy your day, go, uh, I was gonna say go outside and get some fresh air, but yeah, go, go out the front of your house. And get some fresh air because that's really all we can do. Hopefully this all ends soon so we can uh, just get back to normal and I uh, can go to stores and shit. Um, I love you guys. It's your boy Charlie aka Wolfie. Say a little more savage on my main channel. Dropping soon.